Yeah, look, uh, to be honest with you, I felt like, to be honest with you, um, we didn't play our game. We, were, we, were, we just wanted to sit back and uh, watch them play. But yeah, something that we need to learn and take the game forward to, to them. We, we, we might have uh, scored an early goal, I think that put us uh, under pressure at early goal, where we had to sit back and allow them to, 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 to attack us more. But yeah, we take the point, there's nothing we can do. Um, coach, we are in Africa, and just in, especially in the front, how much would you have missed a, a mango today? Um, why there were parts that were evident that the players that were on the field were willing to fight for today, but just at the finishing end, missing a player like him who would have come into this game fresh out of scoring, but also playing against his former club, you know how strikers are against his team. How much would you have missed him really today? Yeah, really, we, we really missed the uh, uh, Kamejina Mango. But let's, let's yeah, put, put in a good shift for us. Fortunately, he, had, uh, uh, he was tired towards the end of the match. We had to take him out to let's say a him. But yeah, he played well. I, I believe that he played well. But obviously, we missed M. M. Hango, who scored in our last match, and who's been doing well for, for the team. Coach Musa, in the bigger picture, I mean, Spurs lost tonight. Richard Bay lost last night. You got a point against Pirates, and then you got Richard Bay on the weekend. A point not, not, not so bad, is it? Uh, look, second round, each and every point, it counts in the second round. You don't want to lose points. So this point will take it uh, and uh, it will go along and come, come the end of the season. It's a goal for us. We, we are standing. We are standing. We need to get out of, of that relegation zone. It has not been easy, but yeah, we are pushing ourselves to get a uh, maximum points. Now we have eight games to play, and yeah, let's see out of the eight games how many will be. And on the back of that, just how crucial then is it to, to face Richard Bay next? Uh, look, uh, a side that is also not doing so well, but in terms of the, the club and the, and the players, they've got good equity. So it will be a difficult match where pound to pound we need to grind for results, like we did against Kito Space and all of the other Coach, I've looked at you how you, you always come to the rescue of this, of this club. And um, right now, within the relegation zone, but once the club goes out of that, then there are changes again, you go back to the assistant role. What does it do to you, coach, knowing very well that you, you, you probably can manage with the, the squad that you have and uh, the technical team that you have, that there's no consistency from you saying, Musa, we trust with this team for five years, there we go. Oh, look, uh, that's, that's not a decision that I, I make. But yeah, look, I'm still learning. I'm, I'm still learning, I'm still learning. So yeah, for me, if the team asks me to rescue them, yeah, why not? If the club asks me, why not? I'm, I'm a part of them. So yeah, I don't mind doing that. I'm still learning. If they bring an experienced coach, I would learn from them. So, coach, just as a follow up, really, on the follow up to Francis' question. Um, talking about still learning, obviously Coach Steve is somebody who is very senior, very experienced and stuff and I'm sure you would have welcomed the opportunity of working with him. Uh, how sad was it for you, for your development, to see him go and also you living the way he left? Look, uh, with uh, Coach Steve and his wealth of experience, I've learned a lot and it was not nice when I heard that he was leaving the club, but yeah, it, it, it's part of the game where coaches come and go. But yeah, it's someone that I still talk to him now. So yeah, the relationship is still there. It is, it is beyond football. The relationship is still there. Coach, uh, just the realistic targets in the games uh, that remain, obviously you're not new to being in this position before <coughs> surviving and then finding yourself in the top half of the table. How do you sort of envision the, the remaining matches, especially on the back of ending that 13 game and beaten run and a point at home today against Pirates and mm, Yeah, look, realistically, we have to, to check the look and who are we playing. We still have the Sundowns, a very good side that we still, we still have uh, Richards Bay that are fighting for their lives, so it, it, it won't be easy, easy. We still have the Royal AM, we still have uh, Stellenbosch who are doing very well. 
and then it's so it, it, it won't be easy. But for, for us, it is to check how far can we go and get to at least 32 points. A short term goal. That's a short term goal to say, let's get to 32, then other matches will say if we can get maximum points. Do you see any similarities from you know last season experience? Because it's almost almost kind of the same, but not so much. But mm-hmm. ah, no, 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 not at all. And you look at the squad that we have this season, young boys with inexperience. You you got a uh, uh, Ntsike on the left back. You've got a uh, uh, Luande. You've got Jacob who played in the PSL. Uh, and Asomoko who's still young, who's still learning. Uh, a son of the division who's still there, who's still there. And so the squad, the squads are the same like this season. So, but we will just have to deal and work with those better. Coach, uh, you've covered 32 points and you're seven points away from that. Is it achievable? Uh, maybe you can relax and say, this is done, you're safe. Yeah, yeah. Look, uh, those are short-term goals for now. That's what we've set for, for our, our, our team. Those are short-term goals to say, let's survive the relegation. It, we're still down there. If you look at the number of games that Cape Town Space has still to play <laughs> and which has been the number of games that has, if they win their own matches, then we will go down. But just looking at the 11 points difference between you and the top zone, surely you have some relief there. 11 points difference. No, no. I don't think so. Coach Musa, um, with, with all the changes that happened in January, what it is that you said the players who remain with the club or those that came in, seeing that there's a sort of you know, chemistry and all the players move in the same direction and pulling their way to make sure that the team stays afloat? Look, uh, our job is, to, is to always to encourage and motivate them. This is their bread and butter. This is where they get uh, their salary. So if they're there, yeah, they need to push themselves. We also need to push them. So this is not any other thing, this is a job for them. So when they know that they still need to push. They still need to push to save the club and also save their, their jobs. Coach, um, you've, got a, you've got one of the players that once uh, had the uh, Rando Pires uh, chairman saying he's one for the future. I mean, when he was still at, at, at development, he spoke highly of him, which was very rare for a chairman to point one player and talk about. And now he's with you here. Mentally, he's been outside of professional football. Now he's back at his Swallows. How do you deal with an Augustine Masunoko who has been at the top in terms of the praise and everything, but didn't live up to that? Mm, yeah, the boy is still young. He's 22, only 22. We just need to help him to regain that confidence, to regain his talent. Talent to work under him. He's got the talent. Let's give him a chance. Let's. Uh, Let's also try to, to help them with all the negativities and all the ups and downs that he's been going through. But he's here to, to also see if he can take his career into another level. So, Swallows is a good team for him. Special treatment for him? Nope, no, st- uh, no uh, special treatment for, for any other player. Any more questions? Yes, sir. Coach, um, coming up against Mabasa today, player who, who, whose skill set you will be familiar with, I just want to ask was there any planning or strategy to try and keep him quiet tonight? And it's also been good for for the fight recently. Yeah, look, we were aware of Mabasa, who's a little striker, very good striker, one of the top strikers in the country, so we were aware of him. We needed to shut him down. We, we know how he plays, we've been with him for six months, so we needed to shut him down. And he's been scoring for, for all in the so yeah, we needed to shut him down. Just, just as a Patriot coach, um, on the other side, Sundowns going for the big one once again. Um, Rulani is one of the people that speaks highly of the younger coaches, is one of you guys. Um, have you? Sort of probably talking to him or giving them the message if you were to give a message of good luck because they either make or break on this one. Yeah, uh, look, uh, we as more as well as uh, would like to on behalf of, of the club just to wish them well on the, on the, on the day on Friday against the other. We know that uh, they can do it, we believe that they can win the match, so let, let them uh, make, let, let them make the, the, the country count by winning this one. They're capable, they can do it. So, yeah, all the best to you.
Huh?